all India basin, I am saying five rupees or so. But maybe I am wrong. I have to calculate that one. Where is the, how much is the different state government doing what they are doing? So, so just to get this right, you're expecting this year price hike to be in the range of rupees five per bag on all India basis. Have no. I got that right? And this I am saying five rupees will be the price not increase but price coming down because of this. That I understand. That I completely understood. My question to you was, you said on an average cement industry has been taking a 3 to 4% price hike every year to keep up with the pressure. But this time around, since there was more inflation, it was to an extent of 7 to 8%. Yes, that's I what was I was now wanting to understand, going forward in this financial year, what is the kind of price hike? Would that go back to the industry standards of 3 to 4% or would it still be uh, somewhere yeah. around... No, it all depends on what, what will be the coal prices. Now, coal prices have gone up from $70 to $350. So now $70 to $350 was never thought of. The, so if the prices of coal comes down to another almost the same level as $70 or so, then the price rise will be 3%. But if it is... Some people are thinking that it may go up to $400 also. So depending on the fuel prices, international fuel prices, uh, which is in nobody's hand, macro situation because of the wars and other things, is much difficult to predict. So in a commodity, to predict the price rise uh, is almost an exercise in vain. So we are talking about it, but next quarter I may be talking totally different too. Okay, we will kind of recalibrate on that note. But, uh, you know, with whatever is happening around the industry right now, there are a couple of measures also coming in with Adani now entering in into the industry, uh, taking over the stake that Ambuja, you know, Holsam Group has in Ambuja and ACC. You think with this, the competition heats up further and the price war is, you know, just in the offing? No, we feel that the biggest industrialist of India has taken place of the biggest cement manufacturer of the world. So, one giant is replaced by the another giant. So, what will be their policy, what will be their thinking, I don't know. But for us, it will be business as usual, as no concentration of cement capacity has taken place. Only the management has been replaced from one person to another. So, as on now, various analysts are giving us various scenarios, but we have yet to see. The deal has just been announced. It will fructify after due diligence and all other things, maybe three to six months. Then how they act. We may be running too fast in our own opinion. Let it come and when the bridge comes, we will cross it. Right now, there is no point. Yeah, Mr. Bangur, Adani is already setting, like it's already, you know, put a foot in now in the door. So it's not like you're waiting for the entry, right? So I'm sure there'll be some plan in place with the competition heating up and the market share now expected to fall further because of the kind of uh, competition that we could see. Adani has taken and has announced that they will be doubling the capacity in five years. So... Five years, India may be growing at 7 to 8 percent cement growth. So, there is enough room uh, on a 350 million ton capacity which is being used today. 7 percent per year is about 25 million ton per year. And so, in five years, 125 to 150 million ton more cement will be needed. Who takes that much share? Uh, will depend. There will be enough scope in a growing country like India to have the, everybody's uh, capacity running at a healthy space. All right, Mr. Bangar, so you do not see at the moment, uh, you know, intense pricing pressure coming in with the entrance of Adani for that matter, right? Yes, I am not thinking so because ultimately a rational price will stabilize for Three months, there may be some instability, but ultimately, stability will come very soon. Okay. 